hello everyone and welcome back to my gorgeous cheap V8 Jaguar S-Type and well last time you saw this car we took it to the Isle of Wight but you may be wondering why I'm dressed like Adam Sandler like I'm on my way to the shelter well unfortunately this car is turning out to be a little bit of a project a bit of an expensive one but we're going to talk about that today because I think we finally have got to the bottom of the coolant issues and hopefully for now at least those costs will stop when we got back from that two or three hundred mile round trip to the Isle of Wight the car had actually been really flawless that whole drive home which wasn't on camera was gorgeous and um, actually when we got home it was barely noticeable that the car had lost coolant it had gone between sort of the maximum and minimum level but it was nowhere near what I've been chasing before however I decided I should take it in one last time to get it looked at now before we get into this video and I tell you what's happened with the car I just want to share with you a few words from today's video sponsor let me say a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video now you've probably all heard of a VPN before and maybe you've decided that you don't need one however I think there's a few lesser known benefits that might change your mind NordVPN is a virtual private network and what that means is it encrypts your internet traffic and hides your IP address. This significantly boosts your online security and privacy. It makes your activities untraceable by third parties and protects your data from criminals. A great benefit of using NordVPN is that you can change your online location. Let's say you're traveling on your holidays to Spain for example, you get to your hotel or your villa, put your feet up, grab a drink and you decide I'd love to watch some Top Gear. Well, you can't. BBC iPlayer is not accessible in Spain. However, by changing your location to the UK using NordVPN, all of a sudden iPlayer and Top Gear becomes accessible to you. And then let's say your wonderful holiday in Spain finishes. Today's the day you catch your flight home. However, it gets canceled. The French air traffic controllers have gone on strike. Actually, they, they probably will go on strike after that World Cup defeat. I think I would. Anyway, your airline won't cover the cost for a new flight. They say it's not their problem. So you're stuck and you're forced into paying an extortionate amount of money for a one-way ticket last minute back to the UK on a budget airline. Well, not anymore. By once again using NordVPN to change your location to a country where airfares are less, you can gain access to cheaper tickets. And for me at least, that is reason enough to use NordVPN and maybe you should too. If you'd like to give it a go, take advantage of my exclusive limited time offer. By going to the link in the description of this video, you can get yourself the two year plan plus four months for completely free. It's risk free too as well because NordVPN has a 30 day money back guarantee. So once again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. It's not cheap keeping a car like this on the road and it is really true that without video sponsors like NordVPN, I wouldn't be able to do these videos, so thank you. So when it went back into the garage most recently for the, I don't know, third or fourth time, I lost count. They found that the thermostat housing was leaking, so all of that, including the thermostat itself, had been replaced, and that's what cost around 230 quid. And since I picked the car up a few days ago, admittedly I've not really driven it, I've had about enough time to get it dirty, as you can see from the shots and for the number plate to fall off which to be fair in my last video you all said it was going to happen I did a really bad job at sticking it so I think I'm just going to have to drill some holes into that plate and do it properly but I've not really driven the car but since it hasn't been leaking at any corner which is really great news because I feel like finally we might be on top of it in terms of everything else I mean since I first took the car in I had a coil pack or a spark plug replaced I can't remember it exactly what but the engine's like butter to be honest it's been absolutely fantastic really smooth really unbelievably quiet especially at speed and the gearbox goes into gears nicely it's a little bit slow and sluggish but that's more of the time than because of any untoward issues at least I think so the car rides surprisingly well as well I've been lucky to have a few newer sort of press cars recently not all of them you will have seen but new cars especially with these big sort of is it low profile or high profile I get really mixed up but the the big wheels with not much tire around them way firmer than this and these will be like hundred thousand pound new luxury cars this rides so much better it's a really comfortable thing the only weird thing with this car is I've not 
the time that I've owned it, ever quite found a seating position that quite works. So it can get a little bit uncomfortable for me on longer journeys, which I find quite surprising. I've still not quite found it. I mean, there's all the adjustment you would need, mainly with that lumbar support, but yeah, I've still not quite nailed it with the seating yet. As a passenger though, I have to say, flawless, unbelievable. I think it's just when you're having to hold to the wheel and reach the pedals, pedals are quite a long way away, so maybe it's something to do with that. Anyway, that's the only real negative I found with the car. I genuinely love interacting with my 1999 navigation display. I use it more than I would care to admit. It's fantastic. I love interacting with the buttons. The heated seat button is really nice to use. And checking the temperature and adjusting the heat of the cabin. It's all really fun. And also, I can play my own Spotify and my own music or podcasts in the car thanks to this, I don't know, five quid Amazon Bluetooth adapter. All you do, plug this into the car, select a frequency of which I've got 87.5, tune that to the car's radio, connect your phone to the adapter, which you plug into the cigarette port, and voila, you have Bluetooth music as you would in a newer car and buttons to change it. Even more, the fingertip controls on my steering wheel also interact with it. So really nothing short of a brand new car there. Absolutely fantastic and totally usable in 2022, 2023, almost. I've seen a few questions regarding the fuel economy of this car and I have to be honest, it's not quite as good as I thought or it's more bad than I was expecting. I thought maybe over time when I'd really done some miles and you know a lot more of the longer journeys as well as just the to and from the shops, I might see sort of mid if not higher 20s. It really hasn't got above 2021. That seems to be where the MPG for sort of general use is on this car. So a bit lower than you might expect, although this is a very early four litre V8. So of course it's not gonna be good, but I don't mind. I don't use this car all that much and it makes it even more special when you do. I also made that entire video putting steel seal into the car because of a suspected head gasket leak and although the block test did reveal that there was some sort of leakage of some kind um, since there hasn't been any and so whether or not there was a bit of a leak and I temporarily let's be real fixed it or I don't know something else but the garage didn't see anything else either and as far as they're concerned although for the third time at least as far as I'm concerned for now the car is behaving as it should but you do unfortunately when having these older cars always drive with a little bit of anxiety in the background worrying what's going to go wrong next and that's definitely the case with this car which does take away some enjoyment but i do have to remind myself that this isn't my only car to clarify my other car is actually my fiance's nissan pixo 2012 car really i mean the most reliable thing i've ever had the pleasure of using regularly and i have to say it's actually it's it's fun to drive it's really not bad at all i, I love that car of course it gets about 70 miles per gallon too so even better basically free motoring when you compare it to something like this and again since the iValet guys got their hands on this car and did the full detail on it if you haven't seen that video by the way go and click up here and watch it they basically turn this car into what it once was when it left the factory. The rear seats still haven't been sat in since that video and so the carpets and the back just look pristine and even yeah, everything just feels so good. I might have a go at getting some leather dye to do the steering wheel actually. I've seen a few of you comment about that and I'm just trying to find a colour match for it and then I might give that a go myself. Otherwise I just want to sort out that rear number plate and there is a few bigger adventures I've got planned for the car I've just been a little bit apprehensive to do them because I don't think I, I fully trust it yet. So that was a little update on the Jag then and some good news, probably the nicest title I've ever had against a video with this car because everything else so far has been about something breaking and maybe the next video with this car will be but let's hope not. But in the interim, we're coming up to the holiday season and so on Christmas day, as it is a Sunday, it's a normal upload day for me, I decided I'll do a Christmas day Q&A. So here's your chance to comment on this video as this will go out before I film the Q&A video and I'll take your comments from here and the community post that I did the other day. 
and I'll answer them in my special Christmas Day Q&A. That'll go out on Christmas Day evening at 8 p.m. my normal time and um, it'll just be a nice way to keep something going out on Christmas Day that's not too serious and also a bit more personable and potentially happy because all the videos with this car so far until today haven't been the happiest but it's been a wonderful experience with this car so far. I know you guys all adore it as do I really and as do Katie. So you'll probably next see the Jag in the new year on the channel um, but if you want to see constant updates with the cars and everything I'm getting up to um, I recommend going to follow me on Instagram it's just it's Joel but with a W at the end um, I post stories on there every day so if you want to see more regular content from me and see what's happening with the car like when my number plate falls off um, follow me on Instagram and you can catch sort of more regular and stuff over there until Christmas Day when I'll see you for a Q&A um, thank you so much for watching I wish you all a fantastic holiday season whatever you're doing whether you celebrate Christmas or not thank you for all the support on the channel this year although like I say there'll be a Q&A on Christmas Day and I think on the 28th then I'm gonna do a little bit of a roundup of my experience using electric cars because I've had electric cars on the driveway for about six weeks now and I think I've got some interesting insights to share so stay tuned for that anyway thank you all for watching thanks so much for your support thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring my video it makes the repairs and stuff I have to fork out possible I mean quite literally so big thank you to them as well support the channel and support them by checking out the link in the description see you all very very soon